This is not financial advice. I just hope we bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now don't invent, hold up. The stock market is down. Oven mitt check. Let me see if you got them on. Let me see if you got them on. Okay, you got them on. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Now hit that like button to show your boy some love and subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is Bio Nanogenomics, baby. Take a simple B-N-G-O. And currently at the time of this recording, it may change by the time you see it, but it's $6.99 a share. And we got in this back when it was $2 a share. And I want you to be up on the place as early as we are. So you already know, come and join that Discord. We're going to welcome you with open arms, baby. Link in the top comment. And hit that Weeble link in the top comment. Get some free stocks. Now, let's talk about it. Currently, they are down 7% on a day. On a week, they are up 30%. However, on the year, they are up 1,800%. This one has been running. Now, let's get it going. And what's going on in the news with this stock? Let's talk about it. Just today, actually what happened is this. Bio Nanogenomics was posted on Seeking Alpha and it posted an article and they said that the management team at Bio Nanogenomics has some ambitious, highly ambitious forecasts and goals. And what are they? They plan to change their revenue from $8 million for the year 2020 all the way in 2026 to 2.6 billion dollars on a minimum on a minimum that's a crazy jump from 8 million in a year all the way to 2.6 billion dollars that's absolutely crazy and why are they saying that multiple reasons the first one being the genetic sector is expected to grow 18 percent a year for the next five years keep in mind the average growth on the stock market is between 7 and 12 percent basically it's 10 percent since the last hundred years now what else is going on with this it's expected to reach the whole sector is expected to reach 62 billion dollars now all they need to hit their revenue goal is basically to have about four percent of the market share with their sapphire tool which has already shown itself to be the only thing in the game that could do what it does in terms of genetic mapping absolute banger now what are the big dogs doing now this just happened just recently in the last two days basically this is what the big dogs is doing they are taking small chunks now for you and me that would be a crazy huge buy but for the big dogs taking a million dollar chunk is just a nibble for them so keep in mind the big dogs are averaging in so just seven hours ago there was a 2.78 million dollar order of this one day ago 4.3 million and then another one one day ago 1 million and then 1.5 million 1.3 million so they're taking little chunks compared to them they got hundreds of millions of dollars if not billions of dollars so they just taking little nabs at it because they're trying to get it in the five dollar range they're trying to get it in the five dollar range however it's currently basically almost at the seven dollar range now what i want you to do is this let's think about it what is the wall street analyst saying i want you to listen to this the wall street analysts are saying that on a minimum this thing is going to 1275 by this time next year and then it's going to 13 on the median or it's going to 15 on the high this is what wall street thinks is going to happen to this stock how do we play this one we're going to play it like this we're going to play it with strike to own so we're going to strike to own between 100 and 500 shares of this company depending on how much money you could spend on this and then build your position out because this company is worth owning now do i got a stop loss on this no but i don't have a stop loss because i had already planned i want to be prepared not surprised to average down if i'm not willing to average down then i put a stop loss on a stock like this it will be 10 percent but i'm willing to average down on the play because i want to own a piece of the company and I want to see if they can hit these forecasted goals. So now, let's get to the next banger on the list. How long are we holding on to this one? At least one to three years, if not longer than that. But let's get to the next banger on the list, and it's Churchill Capital Corp, ticker symbol CCIV. Now, currently, they are $22 a share, and on a day, they're down 4.7%. On a week, they're up 25%. And on a month, they're about flat on the month. And on the whole year, basically since they IPO, they're up 123%. But what's going on with them lately? There's been a lot of talk, a lot of chatter, a lot of chit chat about a lawsuit, a class action lawsuit. And let's break it down. There's a company or actually a law firm 
that's basically suing everybody, but now they got their eyes on CCIV. That doesn't mean that they won't get any money out of them. It's probably to the contrary where they might actually get a lot of money out of them. So let's break it down. So it's called Rosen Law Firm. And what they're doing is this. They have a class action lawsuit on behalf of purchasers of securities of Churchill Capital Corp between January 11th, 2021 and February 2020 or February 22, my bad, February 2022 and then of 2021 now what's going on with this this company or this law firm what they're trying to do is set the bar so high that they could get a lot of money in the settlement so what they do is this it usually would cost a lot more money to fight the case rather than just to settle on the case so then they did this many many times remember the name rosen law firm let's look at them again just recently Whenever there's a big thing in the media about something that happened, Rosen Law Firm, what they do is they jump in and they basically try to do a class action lawsuit on behalf of the purchasers of the securities. Now, let's look at this. With Robinhood, they did the same exact thing. This is when Robinhood was accused of having market manipulation with AMC and GameStop and Nokia and all these other kind of things. And then they were actually successful with another one that was more recent and notable as well. And that was this. Alibaba, when they had that that instance where they were talking about antitrust laws and this and that, guess what? The Rosen Law Firm got up in on that, and then they sued them. They did a class action lawsuit, and then they actually settled for $250 million with Alibaba. Now, that's nothing to a company like Alibaba, but that's a lot of money for a company that's just coming up. Now, they also did it with Chrysler, and they got $110 million out of Chrysler in a settlement. They don't go through with the case because the case is very expensive to fight, but the settlement is where they're making all of their money. So what they do is they throw darts at the board and then they say, okay, this one's stuck. So we're gonna get a settlement out of this because they don't wanna fight the case. So now, what are the big dogs doing? Are they buying CCIV or are they sitting this one out? So just seven hours ago, there was a 4.8 million dollar purchase of CCIV. So even with all of this known, the lawsuits and everything like that, Big dogs are still willing to put millions of dollars into the play. And four days ago, there was an $8.9 million order of CCIV stock. So how are we playing this one? We playing it just like this. We're going to strike to own between 10 and 500 shares of this company, depending on how much money you got. We're not using no strike price. We're not using any strike days. You're going to strike to own because if this company blows up the way that we know that it can, then this is going to be a banger that could easily get to 40 or easily get back to 60, which would be basically the 3X. However, we striking to own, but I want you to think about this. Try to get in in the teens if you can. If you see it hit 19, you see it hit 18, this is a strong buy zone. However, if your average is currently way up here and then the stock price is down here, it's a good time to average down. Bring your average down so when it take off, you can actually get in the green much, much sooner than you previously thought. Now, let's talk about the next banger on the list, and this is actually a bonus. And the bonus is our Delix ticker symbol, A-R-D-X. Now, I talked about this a week ago. I talked about this two weeks ago. I talked about this stock when it was in a $6 range. Currently, this stock is $8.60. And in my last video on this, I told you to consider selling the news. You got in with us at six. What I want you to do is ride it up, and this one might still go a bit further. For example, Wall Street, they see this one hitting 13 on the median or on the, on the low. They see it hit 14 on the median and they see it hitting 15 on the high. Why? Because their FDA clearance is actually in two days from today. It's literally two days from today on April 29th. Now, this is going to happen. And what people are thinking is people are going to sell the news on this. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Now, let's say you don't want to sell the news. What you can do is put your stop loss on it. Put a 5 to 10% stop loss on it. So then if it runs up, you end on the run. However, if it comes down, then you would get kicked out on the fall and you wouldn't get caught holding the bag. Because once this FDA clearance is through, then the catalyst for this stock is in the far future. When they start to put the, the company medicine on the commercial shelves. That's pretty much it. That's what I'm trying to say. When they put the medicine on the shelves you're gonna have to wait for that so basically make sure that you prepare not surprised you tell yourself if you're not gonna put your stop loss on it 
What you're telling yourself is you're willing to average down. That's what you say when you're not willing to put your stop loss on it. So now, I love y'all. Hit that Discord link to join the family, baby. Hit that Weeble link to get some free stocks. And you see the merch. I know you see the merch. Let's get it, baby. I love y'all. Take care.